Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV pro video production program. I'm Jada. And I'm Nolan. And here's what we have for you on this week's SMD Wire. A 50,000 square foot medical marijuana grow house is going up in Able, St. Mary's County construction began last summer, said Charlie Mattingly, owner of Seven Points A Grow. The target opening of a 50,000 square foot building in the late summer, Seven Points A Grow is already growing 60 varieties of medical marijuana and a 2,500 square foot research and development building on site. Commissioner John O'Connor, who represents the 7th District and other parts of Northern St. Mary, said, we like the amount of jobs Jobs is creating. He said it could potentially offer as many as 300 jobs. Maryland State Board of Elections Administrator Linda Lamo released the following statement on Monday regarding the recent Court of Appeals decision to hold the primary election on July 19th. Lamone states that following the Court of Appeals decision last week to move the primary election on July 19th, the State Board of Election has been working with the local boards of elections to ensure that Maryland voters have the opportunity to participate fully in the election process. The deadline to register to vote in the primary election is now on June 28th, and the new deadline to request a mail-in ballot is July 12th for voters who want to receive their ballot in the mail. Early voting will now start on July 7th and end on July 14th. Assistant County Attorney John Hauser gave the St. Mary's County Commissioners an update on legislation at the General Assembly, which will close its 90-day session on April 11th. Hauser said that House Bill 1022, which would speed up funding for the Route 5 and Great Mills Road intersection project, didn't get past committee phase. The bill would give St. Mary's College of Maryland employees the same cost of living increases as state employees did crossover. In a slight change, the St. Mary's County Commissioners decided to make the new Police Accountability Board range from five to nine members. Discussion a week prior led to a consensus of nine members. By this week, they lowered the number. A combination of public and private funding could bring into the fruition of all the same of a proposed downtown waterfront plan in Leonardtown. Food trucks could be allowed at the wharf in the short term, while a long-term plan could offer a restaurant with limited food sales. The wharf could also include a splash pad and a carousal, and an amphitheater would be part of, the, of a flexible space. And a lodge at Tudor Hall Farm could include a conference center. John McGilloway talked about projected population growth, which he said could bring about 8,000 more people within a 10-minute drive of the downtown area in five years. He said various businesses, such as a Amity Rich Hotel, could keep nearby residents shopping in Leonardtown instead of driving to California. Now turning to sports. Huntingtown and Northern High School take home indoor track titles. Huntingtown's boys indoor track team won the 3A state tournament with 48.5 points, beating the Mevro team by 10.5 points. Northern High School girls indoor track team also won the 3A state titles, barely beating out the contenders winning by 2 points. Leonardtown lacrosse teams try out new turf fields. After watching the schoolgirls lacrosse team coast to a 21-1 victory over Lackey High in the early game on Monday afternoon, the high school, the Leonardtown High School boys lacrosse team blanked the Chargers 18-0, although it actually took the host Raiders nearly seven minutes to dent the scoreboard. Leonardtown controlled play from the outset, but the Lackey defense had proven stingy through the early stages of the contest until Johnson Duke provided the historically inevitable when with the team's first goal on its new turf field. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Nolan. And I'm Jada. Signing off.